Hello, can you hear me, class? Hello, yes, I can hear you. All right, can you hear me better now? Yes. Good. How are you? Good, and you? Um, I'm okay, thank you. Yeah, much better now. And my my webcam is not very good in this moment. Um, wait. <laughs> my webcam is not so it's not too. Yeah, it's, there you go. Hold on. Let me see this. So how are you? Um, there's no storm in your house yet, right? No, no I live no in Santa storm. Ana and it's not raining here. All day it's been just nublado, no sé cómo se dice. Cloudy. It's been cloudy, but we haven't rain at all. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Well, people say that if it rains, it's going to come in through um, Oriente, right? Yeah, Oriente. Yeah. All right. So, how was your weekend? Your long weekend? Mm. Was a good weekend because I <laughs> saw my family. So, it was a good weekend and I could rest. Did you go to the cemetery? Yes, but on Sunday? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I went to the cemetery on Sunday with my family too. Oh, good, good. Mm -hmm. All right. How are you, Marvin? I am fine. Teacher, and you? I'm okay, thank you. Yeah, another weekend, a long weekend. You think? I think it's a, a short <laughs> without Monday, right? Well, yeah, I mean, imagine if you have, you have what, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, it's nice. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so, it's true. Did anybody celebrate? Like, did you go? I, I mean, I imagine you went to the cemetery, correct? Oh, sorry. In my case, I, I didn't. No, I, sorry. I went to the cemetery and in my family, it's not a, a tradition to visit a um, okay. family, right? Yeah, to go to the cemetery. Yeah, it is not a, yeah, a tradition. But I think some other persons, right? Oh, yeah. Think oh, yeah. A, this is like a review of the memories for all our um, close parents to loss, right? Yes. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Yeah. Sorry for my internet. So maybe. No, it's okay. I, I look. I mean, I think the internet's going to be bad tomorrow <laughs> in general. <laughs> because yeah. if if this rain comes, it's going to affect hard. I imagine. And yeah, we but are I... going to have all the classes until Thursday. Uh, Tuesday. I, actually, this week is going to be from Tuesday to Friday. Okay. 
Yeah, because, Friday, right. Because, yeah, because of the... Because of yesterday. Teacher, yeah, I can I... assist the Friday because all Fridays I have another meeting. Friday night meeting where? Party, party, party. No, it's about <laughs> the, the meeting uh, of my my church congregation meetings. Yeah. Yeah, I imagine it was about church. Okay. No, but it's okay. I mean, remember, it's going to be recorded. So, all right. So I see Geo. I see more people coming in. All right. So um, we're going to start today. I'm going to share my screen with you. Hold on, let me see, where's the screen? Give me one second, please. I'm, I'm... Okay, now, um, please tell me if you don't see my screen. Um, how do you start see? it? Yeah, but do you see it in yes. this moment? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, we can. Great. That's good. Good news. Okay. Um. Listen to this lady, listen to this young lady to what she's going to talk about in this moment. Okay, so I'm going to press okay. play. Hello, has it ever happened to you that everything goes wrong? Sometimes everything needs to be fixed because everything keeps on breaking. Now listen to the conversation and find out what happened to these people. Don't forget to practice the conversation. Page 38, exercise six, conversation. It keeps burning. Part A, listen and practice. Hello? Hello, Ms. Locke, this is Jack Burr. Uh, Mr. Burr? In apartment 305. Oh, yes. What can I do for you? Does your refrigerator need fixing again? No, it's the oven this time. Oh, so what's wrong with it? Well, I think the temperature control needs to be adjusted. The oven keeps burning everything I try to cook. Really? Okay, I'll have someone look at it right away. Thanks a lot, Ms. Locke. Uh, by the way, Mr. Burr, are you sure it's the oven and not your cooking? Listen to another tenant calling Ms. Locke. What's the tenant's problem? Hello? Hello. Is this the manager? Yes. This is Ms. Locke. This is Lula Harris in apartment 216. Yes. How can I help you, Mrs. Harris? I'm having a problem with the electricity. What sort of problem with the electricity? Well, it keeps going off and coming back on again. I see. Is it just the lights or is it the appliances too? Let me check. No, the refrigerator is okay, so it must be just the lights. I guess the fuse box needs to be checked. I'll come up and take a look at it right away. Thanks so much. You noticed another tenant called? What was the tenant's problem? Type your answers on our discussion box. What was the second tenant's problem? What's the problem with the electricity? electricity. The electricity. The electricity. Uh -huh. What happened with the to the electricity? Keep, keep, keep going up and up. Okay, good. Yeah, I like she that you paid attention to that. Thank she, you. She, she can't power off the light. 
Okay, good. So then um, when you say keep on or keep on a gerund, and that means a continuation. And sometimes it's not good. Okay. Or sometimes it's good too. You know, for example, do you remember the first tenant's problem? Yeah, with the oven. Yeah. yeah his I'm problem is he keeps on burning his food. Yeah. But really, I, I don't think that's the oven the problem. I think he is the problem. <laughs> <laughs> that's why maybe the operator said, are you sure it's the oven? Yes. Okay, so um, do you understand that expression then? Keep on or keep. Um, usually, what would you say in this situation if you're my mother or you're my father and you hear me? <laughs> uh -huh. keep coughing. What? He keeps coughing. Yeah, I keep coughing, but. Are you smoking? Yeah. I'm, imagine <laughs> I am a smoker. Imagine I am a smoker. And every time I talk, I go. <laughs> what, would you, what would you say? It's rapid action. Keep, keep smoking. Oh, Is your first cigarette? <laughs> no, no. Imagine I am a normal smoker. I mean, I am an um, active smoker. And um, you are my mother or you're my father. I said, smoking. hi. And then. <laughs> <laughs> what would you say? Aha, uh -huh. keep on no. smoking. No, no but you, you would tell me keep on smoking in a sarcastic way because actually mm -hmm. is <laughs> no, you know how mothers are uh -huh. keep on smoking. Oh, do you, you should quit cigarette? smoking? I'm sorry? You should quit the smoke smoking. Yeah, you should stop smoking. Yes, you should stop smoking. Okay, yeah, and when, when you know when people say "ha," huh, keep on smoking, that means it's like it's being sarcastic. Sarcastic. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So keep and then a gerund, correct? But now listen, we're going to hear another version. So listen to this. At the end of this section, you will learn how to use and comprehend the use of keep and need with gerunds. And we'll also be able to practice need with past infinitives. Do you remember that song? I'm gonna keep on loving you. No matter, yeah. I think it's, it's REO Speedwagon, I think. It's a very old song, but it's good. It's from the 80s. We'll I song. don't want to sleep. I don't want to. It's African. Now, now I will have that song in my head all day tomorrow, I bet you. Keep on loving you. All right, let's listen to the next example now. I'll ask you to stay around and learn different ways to report problems. Describing problems two. Keep plus gerund. Everything keeps burning. The alarm keeps going off. Need plus gerund. The oven needs adjusting. The alarm needs fixing. Need plus passive infinitive. It needs to be adjusted. It needs to be fixed. Now that you have listened to the audio program, we will keep on showing you how to describe or report problems. In this opportunity, we will do by using keep plus gerund, need plus gerund, and need plus passive infinitive. Do you remember what's the problem with the oven? That's right, the oven keeps burning everything. Let's stop here. Notice what follows keep, a gerund. Burning is a gerund. This is what we will study. Keep plus gerund. A gerund follows the verb keep when it refers to a repetitive action. 
My teacher keeps telling me to learn my verbs. Her siblings keep fighting over the TV. Now we'll study need plus gerund or passive infinitive. Either way we use need plus gerund or need plus passive infinitive, it means the same. You may say, this chair needs fixing or this chair needs to be fixed. We hope you got the structure. You know, in my house, a room needs to be built. Can you think of two home improvements you would like to make? Can you type them on a discussion box? Choose any of the structures learned. Okay, so let's use keep and a gerund. In this example, let's try to use for um, negative situations, okay? Um, Yesenia Menendez, hi. Hi. What is the problem with politicians today? <laughs> but use keep and adjourned. Um, oh, they... wait, I'm, I'm sorry. Pause, 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 pause. Alvin, Tell me? how are the elections in the United States in this moment? Um, Florida is, is for Trump. For Trump, yeah, I imagine. Yeah. In Texas, uh, suddenly is for Biden Ooh. in this moment. Okay. Thank you, sir. <laughs> and now, Alvin, with international news. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Yesenia, okay, so um, what's wrong with the poli what, what is the problem with politicians today? And not necessarily only in El Salvador, I mean, in general. Uh, the politi uh, politicians uh, need to um, But you see change. They need keep. Uh, they need keep. Uh, uh, the priorities for for the countries and uh, and listen, always. Uh, okay. No. Okay. Go, mm -hmm. go ahead, please. Okay. Listen to my question, though. What is the problem? With, with the politicians today. Now, what the solution is? So what is the problem? They keep no, on- Yes, the, the problem is they, they need um, the priorities because for the polit uh, politicians, they need uh, or they prefer uh, her or their priorities than uh, the, the priorities the the country or the people. Okay, okay, good. Good, but if you we use keep and a gerund, what would that be? Um, keeps. I don't know the the purposes with the gerund. Well, you know, politicians they keep lying, they keep stealing. They keep lying and yeah. they keep they keep stealing. promising and and never doing anything, right? I think that the the the. the Best for work is lying. Oh, all politicians lying for the for the intentions for 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 the country or for the people. Okay, very good. Mm -hmm. Very good. All right, Ronnie Caballero. Thank you, Yesenia. Okay. Hello, Ronnie. Hi, teacher. How are you? I'm very good. Well, I'm maybe, no, I'm not good. Uh, th this is an example, okay? okay? I got the results from my doctor and I have uh, a sugar problem. What's, what should I do? I mean... Uh, you seem keep? Yeah, yes. Okay. I think that you... But no, but I mean, why do you think I have a sugar problem? Because you keep eating a lot of sugar. Very good. Yeah, you can say that. Maybe you have a sugar problem because you keep eating 
Food is with sugar. Yeah. Yeah. Ice cream. <laughs> Coca Cola. Yes. Mm -hmm. Sodas. Soda. Cola champagne is good. <laughs> yeah. A lot of cola champagne. <laughs> well, yeah. Luckily for me, I don't. I don't really eat sugar. I mean, I do, but I like. I don't like soda. I mean, I like soda, but I prefer water and coffee. That's all I drink. All right. But if you if you keep eating bread, the bread converts the sugar in your body. Really? Yes. The doctor said me. <laughs> oh, oh, hey, that's a good one. I didn't know. And very good, Ronnie. You did you see what you you just said? If you keep eating bread, the bread transform into sugar. I like that. Keep eating. Keep eating. Good. Gio, I have a problem. Alcohol too? <laughs> Alcohol. Well, it depends because if you drink whiskey or tequila, no. <laughs> well, beer. Yeah, beer. <laughs> Gio. Hi. Hi, I have a problem, man. I met my I, I met my <laughs> girlfriend in a bar and uh, we broke up and um, because she drinks too much and uh, my ex-girlfriend I met in the bar and um, she was she drank every day and my ex ex-girlfriend I met in a bar and um, she was a drug addict and, uh, and, and, uh, and an alcohol addict. So what's my problem, man? Why, why, why do I have bad luck with women? Because you, you keep visiting the same places. <laughs> Very the good. The same bars. Very good. <laughs> you have huh? to visit another bars. Me hablaste. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> No, but yeah, you see, your problem is you keep on meeting women in bars, not yeah. the bar. You, you, no, you told me you should visit another bar. <laughs> yeah, okay. You, yeah. no, you but, keep meeting. You keep meeting that kind of people, that kind of women. Yes, it depends the kind of bar. It depends yeah. the kind of bar too, right? Yes. Yeah, because if I go to Leyendas or or. <laughs> You remember legend? <laughs> yeah, I remember. Oh man, I remember all that Tres Diablos and Ah man, Tres Diablos. I, Tres Diablos. I lived in Tres Diablos, I think. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> maybe I uh, met you before. Yeah, maybe. Mm -hmm. uh, I used to, to get there when it was the good bar, the, the real bar. You yeah, me here, too, and it was very there. bohemian. Yeah. Do, do you remember Tomato Jungle? Yes. Okay, good. Up, up with yeah. I maybe I know you. <laughs> maybe. All right. So okay, class. So we understand. Keep on. Correct. Um, I have some correct. things here that I want to share with you. Oh no 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 no. Oops! I almost canceled. Check this out. I have something very cool. Do you see my screen? Yes. 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 All right, yes. but we don't want to see that. We want to see this. We need in Jaren. That's next. That's next. Keep in Jaren. All right, so it says, listen to this. If you want to pass your exams, keep studying. If you want to lose weight, Keep going to the gym. If you want to learn to drive, keep practicing. If you want to know how the movie ends, keep watching. If you are thirsty, keep drinking water. All right, let me see. Let me see, let me see. Let me see, I have here. Laura Ramos, are you there? Yes, I'm there. Hi. Um, 
what should I do if I want to be a good photographer? The, if you want to, to have a good photos, mm -hmm. uh, keep uh, taking photographies. Photographs, okay. Photographs, okay, good. So if you want to be a, a good photographer, keep on practicing, keep taking photographs. Very good, thank you. All right, thank you. Elizabeth, okay, okay. Elizabeth, are you there? Oh, okay, okay. Patricia Sanchez, hi. Hi, teacher. How are you, Patricia? I'm fine, and I, I want to ask you uh, sure. about these uh, questions, if I have to keep on or keep, uh, by example, keep studying or keep on studying. Very good, How both are I correct, use? both are correct. Oh, okay. Very good, very good question. Thank you, Patricia. Okay. Uh, Patricia, I have, okay. Of course, these are examples, okay? Mm -hmm. But, oh man, I have, my life has been terrible lately, but um, I'm going to church now. And, um, but I still feel empty. What should I do? Uh, maybe you have to keep uh, on, um, I don't know how to say rezando or keep praying. 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 Yes. I, I imagine praying. I imagine you were gonna tell me no, you have to keep on going to church because <laughs> because someday you will reach that internal peace or you have to keep talking with Jesus. Yes. That's what my mother and my, that is the, that is my mother-in-law's dream. Right. She says that I, because I don't go to church, I never go and I never will. But they, they tell me I will not die until I see you in church. My, my, my mother-in-law. It's okay. important that you uh, keep, keep uh, going to the church, but more important is you are keep on, keep on uh, talking with Jesus. Thank you. Keep on talking to Jesus. What the? Oh no. Mm -hmm. Class, can you give me two minutes, please? I'm sorry. Okay. I yes, think a yes, cat yes. just fell in my patio. <laughs> really? Wow. Yeah, yeah I, I can hear him right there. Yeah, oh no, he left. Oh, good. Good. <laughs> I have a problem. Oh, and, okay. This is true. This is real life. Cat keeping. <laughs> yeah, but it, it is not yours. No, no. I neighbor? hate cats. I hate cats. I mean, oh, yeah. wait, wait. I don't want to offend because it's I know everybody dangerous. has cats. Mm -hmm. No, I am. I am extremely allergic to cats, but allergic. Like yeah, uh, maybe you're your trouble. Closer. My face, my face gets fat if I if I if I touch a cat. Is danger and, for her? I'm sorry. Is danger for her? I don't know, but maybe because oh. you know when people get allergies, they sneeze. Achoo. I get allergies, and my eyes become like Mike Tyson. Like Mike Tyson punched me. It's terrible. <laughs> It's terrible, and I have a problem because I have a neighbor in front of me. She loves cats. Oh my god! <laughs> yeah, but you know that's not a problem. I, I respect that. The problem is that she doesn't have no cats in her house, so every day she leaves food, but a big plate of food and water, in the street for the cats. 
So in my block, it's only maybe eight houses. And we have like 22 cats in the block because of this <laughs> lady of my neighbor. Oh my God. Yes. Keep so putting now, or anxious uh, or maybe tangerines. Uh, how do you say the cascara? Uh, I forgot skin. the one. The banana skin, skin of orange no, skin. banana skin, no. No, no, no. This is tangerine skin. Tangerine. I read that. No, but it's a lie. Really? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> believe me. I I read all the solutions in, in, in YouTube. Okay. You got to put, uh, ¿cómo se llama? Pura vinegar, maybe. vinegar. Uh, cats do not like citric. Yeah. And that's a lie because I have if a you lemon. Lie, uh, if you lie a bone. I have a lemon tree. And the cats poop on the tree. <laughs> <laughs> I put vinegar. It doesn't work. It doesn't work. The problem is not the cats. It's my neighbor. That lady is crazy. Teacher, yes. if you want to keep cats away, stop feeding them. I don't feed them. My, my neighbor does. <laughs> She, she keeps feeding That's them. That's crazy. <laughs> she keeps feeding them. And, and the problem is that the cats, they poop in the block. They poop in my house. And like right now, like right now I heard a cat, like, and they reproduce. They keep reproducing. Oh. So uh, that's a problem. But oh well. So, uh, so these are some examples, you know, like, okay, so this is bad. My neighbor, she keeps feeding the cats. The cats keep reproducing. Do you know Winston Churchill? Yeah. Yes, I know who is, who is him. Okay. They, India asked him for help for money and he said no i will not help you why you have money yes i have money but if i help you i will only help you one year or two because your people keep reproducing like rabbits and and it's true it's true because that's not it's like the problem of like India poverty, they need to stop reproducing so big, you know? So Churchill, he said, no, I'm not going to help you because if I help you, it's only one year because you keep reproducing and reproducing and more poverty. Poverty keeps reproducing. He was a very interesting um, politician. Okay, so let's continue with this with more. Okay, so we understand keep and gerund, correct? Yeah. Yes. Got it. Hey, check this out. This is not part of the class, but someday I will give you this. It's interesting. Look, job interview. Do you know what to say when you have job interviews? Yes. You know, when they ask you, what Not are your, teacher, what are your salary what? requirements? This no. is what you should, this is what you should say, what you should don't say, what do. It's pretty interesting. Why should I hire you? You know, when people ask you, so tell me, why should <laughs> I, I hire you? I said the first don't. <laughs> because I, I am the best. <laughs> yes, I use that in, I, I, I have the job. <laughs> Yeah. yeah. No. Uh, yeah. I think. I think it's it's how you say it. <laughs> what are your weaknesses? What are your strengths? What are your goals? It's pretty interesting. I, say, I said, if 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 I was you, I contract contract me immediately. I'll hire you. <laughs> I hire you. Hired. Yeah. Hired. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay. Look. These are these are some other words that you can say or other pronoun. Um. I'm sorry. Verbs that you can say using ing. Do you know what is give up? Rendirse. Yeah. Not yeah, okay, that's one. 
but when you say when you say give up and um, in a gerund is to stop doing something. So if you have a problem, let's say if you have a liver problem, liver, do you know what liver is? No. What is liver? Hígado. Yeah. Okay, hígado, yes. Because, because you drink too much alcohol. What do you think the doctor will tell you? Look, you need to give up drinking. Alcohol. Give up is the heart. Yeah, is to leave. To leave. Stop. 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 Stop doing Stop. that action. Okay. For example, Jose Armando Guevara, can you tell me something you need to give up? Well, drink, drink too much coffee. Drink coffee. <laughs> okay, but let's say complete. Too much I, I need to give up drinking coffee. Yeah. Yeah, no repeat. <laughs> okay. I I need to give up drinking coffee. Very good. Why? Why is that? Because I drink too much. Okay. Two or three times a day. Two or like cups? Yes. Two two cups or three. No okay. more. Yeah. <laughs> Me too. I need to give up drinking coffee, but I actually, if you ask me if I have an addiction, I think coffee is my addiction. Me too. <laughs> yeah. I drink coffee before I go to sleep. Imagine that. All right. Very good. Sandra, can you tell me something that you need to give up and why? Repeat, please. Can you tell me something you need to give up and why? Um, I give up. Uh, no, you can say, I need to give up. I want to give up. Oh, OK. One moment. I give, give up. Um, cell phone because I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Can you repeat that? I need to get off cell phone because um, it's bad. Okay, but remember, after when you say I need to give up, I need a gerund. So what? I need to give up using my cell phone, checking my cell phone, depending oh, okay. on my cell phone. Okay, I need to get up myself. Use my cell phone because using. it's not using. Yes. I, I keep to, I it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. I need to get up using my cell phone because it's bad. See? Okay, yeah, because it's bad. Very good. All right. Laura, what is something you need to give up? What is something you need to or you want to or you would like to give up? You, I think you are in mute, Laura. I need to give up. I need to give up uh, Coca Cola because it's bad for my health. Very good. That was excellent. But remember, I need a gerund, so I need to give up drinking. drinking. Okay. Coca I need to give up drinking Coca Cola. Okay, because it's bad for your health. Okay, good. Yes. You know, every time, every time I watch, I watch a show about animals, you know, how they kill animals, cows and pigs, I feel very bad. And I say, I will give up eating meat and I will become a vegetarian. Only two hours. 
and then I continue. <laughs> yes, it's difficult. But yeah, but I would I would like to give up eating meat because poor animals. But man, meat is so good. Chicharrones, man. Please. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we understand give up, right? Next we have put off. Put off, it means put off or postpone. Yes, but listen to this. It's two words, put off. Don't say put off. Yeah. Yeah, yeah you know, sometimes it's put in. Sometimes people say put in, put on. <laughs> put on, yes. Yeah. So remember, separate the words. Put off. Put on. Put on. <laughs> Here's a funny story, and this is true. My cousin, she was going to get married, I think in, uh, in April or May. But she was going to get married when, when the COVID was very, very famous in the world because she went to she went to china and she met her boyfriend in china she met her husband so then they were going to get married in may and i told my cousin hey sylvia put off getting married this year maybe next year why well number one your um your husband is chinese and all his family is going to come. And right now we have COVID and Chinese people are not very popular, <laughs> you know? But it was a joke, but, but, but actually yeah. she, she put off getting married because um, oh, the airport's close and everything. Yes. Um, can you give me an example of put off Alex? Uh, about that word or oh, that bird teacher i have a question a quick sure. question the the bird put off you need to use for affirmative sentences or for something positive or what kind of a scenario you could use it well i mean good question i mean put off is postpone postpone something yes whatever yeah, okay. for example, can you put off um, eating lunch and um, eating lunch at 12 today, please? Because I need you in the office. Oh, I understand. Mm -hmm. Okay, get it. Okay. So, <laughs> you know, with, like for example, with this, with this COVID situation, I tell my wife, oh baby, we're going to put off going to Europe <laughs> because we can't fly right now. He's <laughs> <laughs> excuse, right? Yeah, it was a good excuse. Uh, I think I think she believes me that I was going to take her to Europe. Which uh, I would like to put off eating my breakfast at ten. Okay, good. Is that correct? Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, good. Okay, nice. Okay, uh, next we have finish. Finish and the, and the gerund, that's pretty easy, right? Uh, Elena, can you give me an example? What do you do after, finish, after you finish eating? Elena Amaya. After I finish my dinner? Yeah, after you finish dinner. eating, what do you do? Um, after I finish eating, I brush my teeth. All right, cool. Continue, continuous keep on, it's the same thing, yes? What we're doing is keep on, it's a continue. So keep on working, continue working. Don't worry, it's the same thing. Okay? 
Oh, next we have something love. Okay, now these are expressions, people. These are expressions I love. For example, I love drinking coffee. All right. I love, Jaime, are you driving? Jaime, I'm not going to talk to you, Jaime, if you're driving. Please be careful. I hope you are only listening. Don't look at the class. Carlos Flores, tell me something you love. Hello, teacher. Hi, but remember, I need a gerund. Please don't say, I love my mother. Okay, yes, no, I, <laughs> no. I mean, it's good that I love you love your mother, but I need a gerund. I love reading a lot. Oh, very good. Hey, that's, uh, congratulations, me too, I love reading, all right. All right, good. Ruth Castro, what is something you love? I, I love it, it uh, I love it, chocolate. I love eating. Eating chocolate, I love eating chocolate. All right, very good, what is your favorite chocolate? Kisses. I'm sorry? Kisses. Kiss. All right. <laughs> kisses. Reese's Kisses. Ma, ma, have you ever have you ever eaten um, peanut butter Reese's Kisses? No. Oh man, that's my favorite. And in, in dollars. I talk a lot with my name. I'm sorry? <laughs> uh Someday I, I see a, a chocolate with my name, Ruth. Oh yeah, baby Ruth. Yes. <laughs> yeah, that's a yeah, that's a that's an old chocolate. <laughs> that chocolate is like from yeah. the nineteen nineteen forties, I think. Yeah, ba <laughs> baby Ruth. I remember those are good. They're very good. Yeah, All right. right. Jessica Flores. Hi. Hi, teacher. How are you? Fine. Tell me something yeah, you hate. I arrived in my house. <laughs> I'm sorry? You just arrived? Yeah, I just saw you jump in. Yeah. From work? Yes, from work. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry, Jessica, where, where, where do you work? I work in Valdez. In Valdez computer? Yes. Oh, cool. Nice. Where? In, in, the, in the store or in the main office? Main office in administration. That's by El Platillo, right? Yes. Okay. Yeah, one time I went there and I saw, oh, this, this is the building, but this. All right. Um, Jessica, can you tell me what is something you hate? Okay. I hate eating uh, pacayas. All right. Yeah. Okay, cool, cool. I hate driving behind a garbage truck. Yes, me too. <laughs> oh, man, that's yes. I remember one time I really suffered because I was coming from, I was coming from Metapan and I don't know what happened, but the street was only one lane. And I was right behind a garbage truck for an hour and a half maybe. Oh. And even if with the windows and the air conditioning, but the smell, oh my God, it was so horrible. After that, I really hate <laughs> garbage trucks. <laughs> I hate driving behind a garbage truck. I know what is that. Yeah, it's, 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 it's not cool. All right, thank you, Jessica. Elizabeth Lemus. Okay. Hi, McCruz, are you there? Yes, but I don't. Oh, yeah, you're, you're driving. No, don't look at me. Just listen. I'm sorry, I forgot. Be careful. 
Okay, good. Just listen to the class and keep your eyes on the road. <laughs> keep on looking at the street. Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, okay. Let me see who, who has not participated today. Beatrice. Beatrice, thank you. Thank you. Please tell me because when, when I see somebody pop in, it, it rearranges. Okay, Beatrice, how do you like eating your pupusas? I like eating pupusas with tomato sauce and curtido. All right, good. But how do you, do you separate both or do you put the sauce on the curtido? <laughs> I separate the tomato sauce and curtido. Good. Have you ever eaten pupusas in San Miguel? No, I, I, I don't eat pupusas I, in San Miguel. I haven't. I haven't eat, okay. eaten pupusas in San Miguel. Okay, it's pretty interesting because the curtidos made from mayonnaise. <laughs> yeah, but no, but it's good. It's really good. And the, um, the sauce is like black ketchup. Really? Yeah. It's something strange. Yeah. Yeah. It, at, at the beginning, it's strange, but then it's really good. Yes. Yeah. All right. Cool. Thank you. Okay. Who, who drinks liquor here? But what, what's the I, question to you? All right, I, I, <laughs> I do. No, wait. I I'm not saying who's an alcoholic. I'm just saying who drinks oh, liquor? I who drinks tequila here? I, I haven't participated, but... Okay, 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 talk, okay. But... <laughs> All right, okay, no, but, but thank I, you. I do, I do, I do drink. Liquor. Occasionally, okay. Do you drink tequila? Yes, I love tequila. Uh, how do you like drinking your tequila? Uh, in the normal way. So I like drinking tequila the normal way. I like way. drink I like drinking tequila in the normal way that you uh, put a shot and you take a shot and then you uh, taste the um, lemon with the salt. All right, cool. The yeah. traditional way, right? Oh, okay, good. All right. The traditional I like that. way. Mm -hmm. I like that. Oh my God, that was Jaime. I hope he's okay. Yeah. <laughs> Jaime, are you okay? It's Please okay. say. Okay, good. Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay, good. You're scaring me, Jaime. Yeah, yeah. Okay, no problem, good. No problem. So, okay, so next we have I love, I hate, I like, and dislike is the same thing as what we're doing right now. I enjoy. Okay, here's one. Here's an interesting. You understand I enjoy, right? I enjoy watching TV. I enjoy listening to music. What is mind? Something that you're thinking, maybe? Okay, very good. Oh, because mind mm -hmm. is two things. It's your mind, mm -hmm. your inside. But if I ask you, do you mind... Do you mind going outside? Do you mind sitting down? Do you mind standing up? Do you mind lending five dollars? Yeah, do you mind lending five dollars? Do you, do you know that expression, mind? Yes. Yes. Te importaría? Exactly, like yes. Te importaría? Yes, exactly. Like, for example, imagine it, like, for example, in my house, I don't smoke. Nobody smokes in my house. And when I have a visitor and they're going to smoke, they ask me, excuse me, do you mind smoking? And I say, yes, I do. I'm sorry. But it's okay. You can go to the patio. But I do mind smoking inside my house. So, and that's a really educated and polite way of asking somebody. You know, 
maybe sometimes you are working or you're talking on the phone and the person next to you is making a lot of noise and you say, um, excuse me, do you mind? Yeah, do you mind shutting up? No, no, I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, you can say, you know, like, do you mind what, shutting up? No, yeah. do you mind keep on quiet? Yes, do you mind going? Do you mind, okay? So it's, it's a way to ask permission for something. And it's okay to say, yes, I mind, or no, I don't mind. Okay. All right. What is can't stand? It's like a, I can stand, listen, the, the music. All right, good, yeah, okay. Yeah, I can't stand listening to banda music. Okay, very, you know what? I, I don't mind banda music, really. <laughs> I had some Mexican friends and, and they always listen to banda music at the beginning. I was that music's stupid, but, but then it's, it's like, it's interesting. But I can't stand listening to, and this is true, I can't stand listening to Eros Ramazzotti. I, I hate his voice, like wah, 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 <laughs> wah, wah, oh man. It's worse than Bad Bunny voice. Oh yes, it's terrible. Yes. <laughs> yeah, I can't, yeah. I hate that, I hate, I hate his voice. Yeah. You know, yeah, and it's true. You know something I can't stand? For example, Saturday, I think, I went to Radio Shack. And they had that Bad Bunny full volume. And I can't stand that music. Maybe and I can brought anything in that story with that music. No, yeah, I, I, left. I, I couldn't concentrate Did because like? I can't stand that music. I'm, really, man, you... But you know they had no, you know like oh god man no I I, I laughed. <laughs> All right, Laura, what is something you can't stand? Uh, for example, I can stand uh, in mall to have this I need a, a Jerry. Okay, I can't stand okay. being in a crowded mall. I can stand. I can stand uh, being in a being in a crowded mall. For example, Black Friday. Oh yeah. Oh, December Metro Centro. Ugh. Okay. Oh. No, it's true. It's true. I understand. Carla Eugenia Molina. What What is something you can't stand? I can't, I can't, can't. I Losing can't you, stand, I can't, I can't. Um, the police. Smelling strong perfumes. Oh yeah, really? You can't? Like for example, vanilla, vanilla perfumes, I don't. I, mean, I can't stand. Uh-huh. Oh, okay. They're too strong. Oh, okay, yeah. That's that's okay. I can't stand smelling chicken. I like the Why? chicken soup. I, no, I mean I like chicken soup, but when when the chicken is is in the water boiling, that smell I can't stand. Mm -hmm. It makes me sick. Like whoa. I put it a lot of garlic and spices. Oh, so that's a smell. trick. Yeah, you know, yes, people, it's really good for people the, tell me that. that smells different. Yeah, people tell me that. Put garlic in. I can't stand that smell. And the best is, I don't know how to say in English, romero. That's a, that's a leaf. I, yes. I, I think that's Romeo, too, in English, I think. Yeah, it's, it's, it's really good to Romeo, too, to change the smell. Oh, okay. Hey, that's good. That's good to know. 
All right. Okay. Well, um, so we have can't stand, fancy, feel like, like, oh man, I feel like drinking a cup of coffee. What, when it's raining, when it's raining in the afternoon, what do you feel like? People say, man, I feel like drinking a cup of coffee or a hot chocolate. I feel like drinking. Play football. Yes. I feel like playing football when it's raining. Yeah. <laughs> All right, yeah. When I was young. <laughs> yeah, it's true. I remember that. I feel like sleeping. <laughs> I feel like sleeping. Mm -hmm. Good. I feel like, I feel like, like staying in the house. Yeah. Bed. Mm -hmm. I feel like studying tonight. Uh -huh. Yes. Okay. You know, I feel like eating chicken tonight. I feel like eating Chinese. <laughs> yeah. You, you know. You know. Sometimes people people say that expression. You know. I feel like. You know. I feel like eating some pizza tonight. I feel like eating tacos. All right. And the next, the last one we have is can't help. What is can't help? Wise men say only fools rush in. What is can't help? But I can't help. Falling in love. Yes. Mm -hmm. Do you know Elvis Presley? Mm -hmm. Do you know yes. that song? I can't help falling in love with you. Yes. Yeah, listen to the lyrics. It's, he says, wise men say, only fools rush in. Do you understand that expression? No, teacher. No. Wise no. men, hombres sabios. Wise men say, only fools rush in. Solo los tontos se apresuran. But I can't help falling in love with you. Ah, that's cool. Oh. <laughs> yeah, that's what the song says. Wise men say, yeah. only You're fools right. rush in, but I can't help falling in love. <laughs> Listen to that song today or tomorrow, and you'll you'll see. Yeah. Okay, class. Uh, we'll continue tomorrow with the need to, with 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 the two and infinitive. Okay. 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 Thank you very much. Okay. Good to see you today. Thank you. Bye. See you tomorrow. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Thank you. See you tomorrow. Bye. Thank you. See you tomorrow. Bye bye. 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 Wise men say. Now I'm going to be singing Elvis. <laughs> <laughs>